The use of fossil fuels for heating and transportation should decrease and ultimately cease completely. In the long run, the municipality of Kristianstad aims to become independent of fossil fuels. Using locally produced biogas as a vehicle fuel will help us to become less dependent on fossil fuels. As opposed to petrol and diesel, biogas does not contribute to the greenhouse effect since it is a renewable source of energy that is recycled naturally. A part of kitchen refuse can be recycled to produce biogas. Everybody helps out by sorting the refuse into special containers. The organic waste is collected and transported to the biogas plant in Karpalund outside of Kristianstad. Kristianstad is a rich agricultural region and the area also hosts several large food industries. Biogas can be produced from the large quantities of organic waste that is generated. Organic waste from both private households and the food industry is digested in the Carpaloon biogas plant along with manure from local farms. Digestion is a natural process whereby bacteria degrade organic material in the absence of oxygen. During the digestion process, a gas consisting of 70% methane and 30% carbon dioxide is produced. The methane gas produced in this way is called biogas, as opposed to fossil natural gas extracted from the interior of the earth. In addition to biogas, a residue is produced by the degradation process. This residue is returned to agricultural land as fertilizer. The residue is nutrient rich and can replace commercial fertilizers. The production of biogas is an important link between food consumption and production, contributing to a sustainable recycling of nutrients and energy. Sludge is also used to produce biogas at the municipal wastewater treatment plant in Kristianstad. The wastewater is purified and the sludge is degraded to biogas. In other words, what we flush down the toilet becomes useful energy. The greatest environmental benefit is obtained when biogas replaces petrol and diesel as a vehicle fuel, since the emissions of substance hazardous to humans is negligible. Biogas that is not used as a vehicle fuel is used to produce heat and electricity. In order to use biogas as a vehicle fuel, the energy value must be increased by upgrading the methane content to 97%. After upgrading, the gas is compressed. Vehicles can then be filled up just as quickly as filling up with petrol or diesel. In the year 2005, the total potential biogas production in Kristianstad can supply about 1,500 cars, 25 buses, and 10 heavy gas vehicles. Biogas is presently used as a fuel for all the city buses in Kristianstad. Several taxi companies and other private companies have also chosen biogas vehicles. When the municipality and the hospital established carpools, the natural choice was biogas. The local municipality and even other organizations now buy biogas-driven vehicles, request these when they purchase transport services, for example, school buses. Private people are showing increasing interest in biogas as a fuel. Advantages include the environmental aspects and a lower fuel price. Gas-driven vehicles can be used even when there are no gas filling stations at present, since most are equipped with two separate tanks for gas and petrol, so-called bi-fuel. In collaboration with the local municipality, 
One of the local power companies has established several filling stations in Kristianstad. New stations are currently being built in many places across Sweden. The municipality aims to increase biogas production in order to supply more gas vehicles to further improve the environment. We will accomplish this by building more upgrading plants and more filling stations and by treating more organic material. The vehicle of the future runs on biogas. What does your car run on? <laughs>